Other news now, and the author and former children's laureate, Michael Rosen, has described plans by a West Sussex college to cut 10 English and maths posts as unbelievable and wrong. But Chichester College says it's consulting on redundancies because its £10 million commercial income has dried up in the pandemic and it needs to reduce losses. Sean Killick reports. This further education college helps school leavers who need to retake GCSEs in maths and English. In future, though, those departments could reduce from 25 full-time equivalent staff to 15. Class sizes would be bigger and face-to-face -face teaching reduced with more independent online study. But students won't do so well, say teachers, who feel they're being made economic scapegoats. At the same time that we're being applauded as key workers for the fact that we are caring, for the fact that we care about, um, about our students and about our wider communities, um, to, ha to be pinched in this way because of um, economics um, and money, it's, it's not right, is it? Chichester College says its proposed new teaching model has been used successfully elsewhere. But author and former children's laureate Michael Rosen has criticised the college, saying, It seems to me as unbelievable and wrong that in this time of crisis any authority is looking to cut jobs in colleges. We know that this pandemic is causing huge inequalities and disparities in terms of access to education. Maths and English are core subjects and need right now, and will need for the foreseeable future, support and security of tenure. The college says the pandemic has caused the loss of £10 million of commercial income, such as international students and its sports centre, and it's not just teachers being affected. Also, we've made or, or, or are consulting on redundancies in management um, and uh, in our business support areas, uh, so marketing and sales. It's, it's a horrid way to run a business, but when you are dependent on government funding, uh, particularly since in over the last 10 years that hasn't been, been there, then we've had no option. A statutory redundancy consultation ends in February and staff are currently considering a strike ballot. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Chichester.